Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Shaykh Effendi always used to say, your heart must say Allah. How do we make our hearts to say Allah? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the first place, you must say Allah by tongue. If you are asking people of this order, of this jamaat, you must be present and you must be making zikr, loud zikr, at least once a week. We're doing it Thursday night to say Allah together. Once the tongue starts to become more familiar saying that, saying Allah, 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 focusing and concentrating, not for your mind to go everywhere else. Slowly, you'll be able to say Allah without using the tongue and in your heart. But how are you going to do that? You have to practice. How are you going to practice? There is daily wazifa, daily zikr, awrat, that in this order you have to go through. You have to make. I'm not going to go around to check, did you make, did you make, did you make? You're adults. You're going to do as you like. People who do good, you're going to get. People not going to do, what am I going to do? So you're going to make the zikr every day. Then when that becomes a practice, uh, then you must be around people who are making that zikr. Because your heart saying Allah is not just like some people they say, uh, imagine a heart, you know, a heart with the tubes and everything, you know, picture of that. And then Allah inside, Alif Lam Lam Ha inside that heart. And then just imagine it, imagine it here. No, 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 it's not like that too. You understand? It's not. How are you going to remember Allah? In this way, how are you going to remember Allah? How do you remember Allah? Ah, you're just too scared to give me answers, that's why you shake. <laughs> how do you remember Allah? Here I'm not talking about the zikr of the heart always saying Allah, 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 Allah. Before we get there, because <laughs> your heart is saying Allah, whether you are believing in it or not believing in it, doing it or not doing it, because every cell in your body is making zikrullah, whether you're a believer or unbeliever, beyond your understanding, beyond what your mental capacity, beyond your consciousness also, it's saying that. But how do you consciously, as a believer, how are you going to remember Allah? I'll give you some time to think of better answer. So say, so that'll be good. So uh, trying, to, trying to do something that's for Allah's sake. No. Say. No. Anyone? Say. No, I mean all this is actually yes, kind of, but it doesn't hit it on the head. Yes? Closer, but not like that. I cannot say too many things like that also because people are going to say things. But similar to that. Yes? Closer. That's close. Almost there. How do you remember Allah? When you are being with those ones who remind you of Allah. When you are with the Rijalullah. Is this my words? Whose words are these? The Holy Prophet wasalam. There are men when you see they will remind you of Allah. You yourself, you cannot remind yourself of Allah. One time you remind, one time you don't remind, one time you forget, uh, it just goes up and down. But when you are with someone, that's why I'm saying it's close, it's close, yes. When you are with someone, when you are with our shaykh, you can't forget about Allah. Most of the time you are remembering the power of Allah, no? not the 
Lutuf and everything, the power of Allah. Because that is the manifestation that has to come now. You understand to this world that is what is needed for it to be cleaned up. When you are with the Rijalullah, they will teach you how to remind yourself of Allah, how to remember Allah. Not just with a zikr, not just with a sunnah that you're going to wear, not just with the <coughs> remembering the favors of Allah, not just sitting, hmm, I remember Allah. No, 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 no. Then when you're with them, as you know, uh, I'm talking like this, you know when you are with Shaykh and you know, everything you do, you have to be super, what? Awake. Is this sunnah? Is not sunnah? Is this the real way to do it? Is not the real way? Does this fit into intelligence or no? You ask yourself 10,000 questions, correct or no? With Shaykh Effendi. And all is for the aim of Allah, knowing that Allah is looking at us, and we have to be very careful. Hmm? People know how to be nervous when the whole room is looking at you, right? If the whole room is looking at you, so many people, majority of the people, they cannot even stand up to speak. How many people are nervous that Allah is looking at them? These are just words because to understand that is beyond so many people's capability. Why is that? Because there's no more Sultan on this earth. When you have a Sultan, then you understand, Ya Sultan, a little bit of the haybat that is there, it's only then showing you a little bit of the, the majesty of the Prophet والسلام, that made the Sahabi Kiram to just sit still, not even moving when they're listening to him, and understanding the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then if you have the Rijalullah, when you are with them, they can turn it on and off, of course. When it's necessary, they turn it on. And you feel that the whole creation is looking at you and you have to be very, 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 very careful. And that's necessary. You understand? Then, <coughs> that time you're going to remember Allah. It is beyond uh, your heart moving by itself. Allah, 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 Allah. I'm not putting people down who have their hearts beating <laughs> saying Allah. You understand? That's different. But this way, this jamaat is not just for things to come to you. The Sahabi Kiram did not just sit there for things to come to them and for them to gain the highest station in Jannat. They have a role and they know it is beyond them. It is beyond themselves, beyond their tribe. It is beyond that space and it is beyond time. If you understand that, then you're going to move according to that. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha. Amen. Yeah. Uh.